Hey guys, welcome back to another video, man. Today, I'll be recapping the New Orleans Pelicans 129-102 to win over the Indiana Pacers. You know, Pelicans win by 27 points. Pacers fall to 34-27. and Pelicans advance to 36-25. and And yes, we lost to the Pacers on Wednesday, but we get the win versus the Pacers on Friday. I'm giving the Pelicans the benefit of the doubt because that game's in Indiana. I'm giving y'all the benefit of the doubt. But, um, yeah, so Pelicans get a crucial win for this part in the season. If the season was to end today, the Pelicans would play the Nuggets in a seven-game series where the Nuggets would have home court advantage. And for the Pacers, they would have to travel to Miami to take on the Heat in a play-in tournament game if the season was to end today. But season doesn't end today. Brandon Ingram went stupid. He went stupid. Playing 30 minutes, dropping 34 points. Getting 8 rebounds, 6, six, uh, six assists. Bring that energy, Ingram. B.I. Bring, bring, bring. Spring cash. Bring that energy, Ingram. That's what I'm talking about. Let's go, Zion. He had a quiet day playing 21 minutes. He got eight points through rebound, seven assists. You know, um, he was missing lots of layups, which was pissing me off, but we got the win, so it doesn't really matter. Well, it does matter for the sake of, you know, stats and stuff and for this season later. But Jonas Valanciunas, he played 26 minutes, got 15 points, nine rebounds, and three assists. I'm still not a huge fan of Jonas Bay. I love being proved wrong, but he didn't really prove me wrong last night, though. Herb Jones did his thing. He played 26 minutes, got six points, one rebound, one assist. You know, we're not asking him to drop 30. We're asking him to play that defense, and he knows how to play that defense. Um, CJ McCollum. This is the CJ McCollum show, playing 25 minutes, got 14 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist. He's either giving you 30 or he's giving you to like 12 to 15 points. No in between. But hey, I'll take it if it was on wins. Trey Murphy, the third. And like I said, that three in Trey Murphy is not for him being the third Trey Murphy. It's for him. Give me three. But yeah, Trey Murphy, the third, played 28 minutes and got 28 points. Seven rooms, one assist. Trey Murphy, there was this one play before halftime. Man, I think it was Ingram. He passed the ball out. It was either Ingram or Herb. It might have been yours. I don't even know. But somebody passed the ball to Trey Murphy. Trey Murphy had a wide open three at the buzzer to send it to halftime. That's why I like Trey Murphy. He's not afraid to take the shot. Trey Murphy play, scored the same amount of points as he did minutes on the court. Yes. Jose Alvarado played 25 minutes, got 9 points, 3 rebounds, 2 assists. Najee Marshall. I mean, oh, and I think this was Jose's first game back from, suspen or, yeah, from suspension, I think. Um, Najee Marshall played 22 minutes, got 1 point, 3 rebounds, 1 assist. Yeah. Larry Nance Jr. played 15 minutes, got 4 points, 3 rebounds, 3 assists. And then the Hawk, Jordan Hawkins. Played seven minutes and got six points, one rebound. He did his thing. Matt Ryan played six minutes, got one rebound. Matt Ryan earlier this season was playing outstanding, but since his injury, he hasn't been the same. Yeah. Cody Zeller played six minutes, got two points and four rebounds. And Jeremiah Robinson Earl played four minutes, got two points. Stats. Pelicans shot 48 for 86 from the field, which is 55.8%. Pacers shot 40 for 95 from the field, which is 42.1%. Pelicans shot 15 for 32 from three, 46.9%. Not bad. Pacers shot 10 for 32 from three, 31.3%. From the free throw line, Pelicans shot 18 of 26, 69.2%. And the Pacers shot the Pacers shot 12. For 18, 66.7%. Not bad. Pelicans, 47 total rebounds compared to the Pacers, 44. Pelicans, 11 offensive rebounds. Pacers, 17. 
And then the Pelicans got 36 defensive rebounds, Pacers 27. Though we still have to box out. There's, there's one rule in basketball. Well, um, one of the main rules. Box out. I'm still not seeing that from the Pelicans, though. Both teams got 25 steals. That's basically how the game went. And the Pelicans had four blocks compared to the Pacers, seven. Pelicans had nine steals compared to the Pacers, nine. So both teams had nine steals. Yeah, both teams just play like the same team. I'm not going to lie. Pelicans had 17 turnovers. Pacers had 16. Pelicans foul or Pelicans had 54 points in the paint. Pacers had 56 points in the paint. Pelicans had uh, fouled 17 times compared to the Pacers fouling 21 times. But man, what a game, bro! The Pelicans tied. The Pelicans tied their franchise record with 48 points in the first quarter. That ties our franchise record. You go, Pelicans. Man, bro, I'm gonna give you three takeaways while we won. We played, we played solid defense. That was one. We were able to score. And and number three, we were not afraid to shoot that ball. Oh, Trey Murphy's mom crashes the Pelicans press conference and scold him for missing free throw. That that was probably funny. I gotta check that out. But um, yeah, records were broken last night, and my heart was fixed. Yeah. But um, yeah, Ingram had 34 points, and Tyrese Halliburton. I just remembered, bro. I gotta do the Pacers. I forgot to do the Pacers. My bad. I forgot that y'all existed. Aaron Neesmith played 21 minutes, got nine points, three rebounds, three assists. Pascal Siakam played 20 minutes, got 12 points, two rebounds, three assists. Miles Turner played 19 minutes, got 12 points and five rebounds. Andrew Nemhard played 30 minutes, got 10 points and four assists. Tyrese Halliburton played 23 minutes, got three rebounds, three assists, and I did not forget his point, his score, or his points total. You know why? Because he ain't scored nothing. He scored the donut amount. He didn't score a single bucket. Not a free throw, not a three, not even a simple layup. He didn't score nothing. Jairus Walker played 27 minutes, got six points, seven rebounds, six assists. Benedict Matherin played 20 minutes to get 13 uh, points, two rebounds, one assist, 13 buckets. Isaiah Jackson Played 18 minutes, got a double double. Played 13 or played 18 minutes, got 13 points, 11 rebounds, and one assist. T.J. McConnell played 17 minutes, got eight points, four rebounds, three assists. Obi Toppin, you weren't doing none of that he he today or last night, as he played 16 minutes, got four or five points and two rebounds. Jalen Smith played 11 minutes, got nine points and three rebounds. Kendall Brown played seven minutes just to, just to do cardio. James Johnson, the former Pelican, played seven minutes, got two points, one assist. And Oscar Tisabui played five minutes, got three points and two rebounds. Uh, I don't even know if I said his name right, but who cares, right? But yeah, man, that was an incredible game in the Smoothie King Center. That's what I like. But anyways, like, subscribe, share, turn the bell, don't miss another upload, and I'm out.